Hey everybody, it's your girl, the Empress Chanel, coming at you with an ancestor message. So this is collective. Take what resonates, leave behind what doesn't. You will be sharing this energy. So like I said, take what resonates, leave behind what doesn't. Um, gratitude to everybody who's returning for the first time. Gratitude to everybody who has been here before. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, and print your energy onto my channel so the messages can be more fine-tuned to your situation if you're doing this on a free 99 basis, all right? Okay. So I haven't done a little ancestor message in a long time. Um, yeah. So basically, I was hearing that a lot of y'all um, either have done this already. Because remember, these are near past, present, near future energies. Either you have done this, you're doing this, or you have plans on doing this in the near future. But um, cleansing your org field. Um, canceling things that no longer serve you, uh, those types of things. So I'm going to just hop straight into it because it, I, I'm getting a feeling like there's an urgent message that needs to come out. If you get what I'm saying, like karma. That could be that clearing energy that I'm getting. Um, you know, after a lot of us are... Uh, experience some sort of um, awakening or um, you know spiritual attack things like that um, there's karma that comes after that for every action there's a reaction for everything there's a consequence that doesn't have to necessarily mean bad or good but um, you know everybody around this situation is catching their karma and I feel like the reason why they wanted me to like push it out really fast there is because it's happening like rapidly okay just as fast as it, things are going out things are being reciprocated it's almost like things going from not being um, completely stagnant, but from being like slow to just picking up speed. All right. We have commitment contract in reverse. Definitely the energy of, um, I'm getting a group of people, a coven, um, family, um, just a group of people who were in the energy of attacking someone for so long. Um, there was a, a there is a time period I feel like now with the new astrological calendar year, you know, starting in Aries season, celestial and um, lunar calendar year um, starting over, or astrology year starting over with the Aries season. Um, I feel like there was supposed to be some sort of new contract or commitment or or something dedication that was supposed to happen, some sort of another like initiation um, process. But instead of someone binding themselves to um, someone else's energy for another go round on the karmic wheel, karma is now being dished out and served um, in the form of justice for what has been done in the past. Yeah, this is my elements card, mind, body and spirit earth, air, water, and fire. So someone could be um, master of elements. Someone could use the elements. Um, they could represent, you know, alchemy, witchery, any of those things. Um, intuition, messages. I said somebody got some sort of intuitive nudge to be doing something. Um, it's like somebody woke up one day and was just like, you know what? I think I'm going to completely hit the reset button on my auric field, both inside and outside of my home. <laughs> like, and they did that. Look, guidance, ancestors. So somebody was being pushed to do this. And I said it groups, right? It was a group of people that was doing this, a coven. So let me see what's the message that the ancestors have for today. We have nine of sticks that wanted to pop out that Sagittarius energies. Um, but I put that back because I hadn't even shuffled yet. We had the four of wands. I feel like whatever it was that they was trying to send your way, it was blocked and sent right back, like almost immediately. Like I said, with this karma card and with things happening rapidly and very fast. Um, first of all, this was someone in your family. Um, someone was trying to force somebody to make a move or to move. or karma for someone like being made to move. We have nine of knives in reverse with this contract and commitment in reverse. Daughter of knives. So Aries, Gemini energy over here, working together, this group. 
and we have the six of sticks. Like I said, somebody used their intuition um, with the messages that they were getting, the guidance that they were getting from their ancestors, angels, mystical totems. You may have been getting a lot of, um, seeing a lot of like spirit numbers, um, getting a lot of synchronicity, signs, seeing certain animals like birds, you know, messenger birds and uh, things like that. Um, to that you know something needed to be done or that something was being done in the background which prompted someone else to go ahead and do that look wheel of fortune the karmic wheel karma definitely definitely an ancestor message in reference to um, a group of people this could be even be a family here with the four of sticks catching their karma um, there were a lot of third party situations in reference to this. There was a lot of um, sneakiness, a lot of watching, a lot of spying, a lot of gang stalking um, that was going on. Um, if this if this was happening to somebody, you know, online, in person, all types of things. Um, with the nine of knives being right here in reverse, it's like uh, somebody's not worried about something. Like this commitment or this contract, eh, eh, not worried about that because it, it wasn't even able to come into fruition anyway. We have appreciate your talents. So someone is very highly intuitive and very talented um, in the skill set of manifestations, building a foundation um, and bringing that into fruition, um, having stability. So somebody is very talented and you appreciate your talents and you have um, with your ancestors, I feel like, and that is why you are being rewarded with good karma. So we have set your intentions, be of service, and trust your intuitions. Intuition. So with this set your intentions coming up here under nine of knives and commitment and contract, um, I feel like um, whoever was on the other side of this, because like I said, I feel like this was a group effort um, up against, you know, one being. Um, they didn't want someone to be committed to their intentions, to their goals, to their aspirations, to their dreams, to um, stay committed to themselves. Um but like I said, I feel like somebody has a high level of gratitude here. You understand that things happen for you, not to you. Um, with this here, be of service. Like I said, somebody could have some sort of public platform where they do use their intuition. They are of service. And this group energy that I'm feeling could just be like, um, you know, a collective type of energy. 737 I'm seeing on the timer. So um, that would be correct. We have trust your intuition right here under six of sticks, Leo energy and intuition and messages. So like I said, somebody had the message or intuition of messages that someone was going to try to like... Um, dominate their energy, trying to bind themselves to them, try to control them, try to control uh, their destiny with the uh, Wheel of Fortune being right here, trying to control their karma, trying to cloak themselves in their energy, pretty much the same thing that they had been doing. Okay, they thought that they would get away with it this time because, um, you know, it was easy to do so before, but I feel like whoever this is, um, you've bloomed into uh, your power here. Everyone has value. I feel like you know your worth here. That's coming out here with the Wheel of Fortune. Um, this group here, they knew your worth. They looked into your destiny. And somebody could have even been intuitive or gone to um, another intuitive in reference to your destiny. But either way, y'all are tapped so far tapped in that you even felt other people trying to uh, tap in on you. And it was like, you didn't even ask any questions. I feel like whoever this is that I'm talking to, you asked no questions. You did not hesitate. You went ahead and did exactly what it is that you had to do. As far as this karma card coming out over here over top of uh, the four of wands and appreciate your talents, I feel like somebody has a natural uh, knack for um, clearing out. It's like somebody could have even, that, that home energy could even be like the intuitive nudge to like clear. Somebody could have sent a tax to someone's home and it backfired. And now someone is sitting or can sit in the appreciation of their talents, um, that being, you know, being able to tap in in whatever way, shape or form that you do tap in. Because if you hadn't, you would have unknowingly or unwillingly, someone tried to unwillingly make somebody do something against their will, basically. Um, 
and I feel like there has been a level of trust, understanding, um, you know, and value built with someone and their spirit team. And they recognized what was going on before these people even put the plan into action. Like, as they were thinking about it, this person recognized what was going on. So it was stopped before it was started. Sexual healing right here. So someone's a healer. Um, the energy that was being sent to someone, um, I'm feeling was in reference to some sort of incubus, succubus, vampiristic type of energy. Like I said, they were trying to bind themselves to someone. So it had to be um, via the lower chakra, which is like the, the base chakra. The base chakra has to do with your stability, your money. Um, your home um, and, how, and how you sit in that and how confident you are in that, um, the way that you are able to manifest or create. So I feel like someone here, um, they definitely was trying to mess around with someone's base chakra, doing chakra magic. We have drip, drip, light, and karmic debt that wanted to come out here. I only want to I only want them to come out one at a time. But yeah, somebody was trying to get up in somebody's astral waters, a light worker. But they had already cleared their karmic debt. So it made these others just incure karmic debt. It, it just reversed immediately. Did a complete 180 immediately because somebody is um, protected here. Um, the Four of Wands represents um, almost like a fortress type of energy. Yeah, magic or magical. Someone was trying to use magic to get up in someone's astral waters. Could have been um, someone trying to uh, use astral rape magic again. Things like that to try to connect somebody to someone's uh, base chakra. But it didn't work. They, they, they felt like it was foolproof because um, maybe they had done it so many times to so many people and they maybe had even done it to this person before, but they didn't realize that this person, I feel like this was like somebody who something had happened to them by this group or someone in this group or a ringleader of this group or something like that. Um, they ended up kind of like fading to the background, healing themselves. And then um, whoever this was caught wind of that again and tried to restart back up the same contract or commitment or binding or whatever it was that they tried. But someone here stepped into their power. They know their value. They know their worth. And they have honed in and mastered and, and they appreciate what was given to them by the divine. Um, even when it comes to sexual healing, somebody tried to traumatize somebody um, with sex, with like sexual demons, um, uh, astral rape, things like that. But somebody <laughs> can't make this shit up. Astral rape, stripped. They wanted to strip somebody of their power, incubus, succubus in reverse. Exactly. Because it didn't happen. It reversed right back to whoever sent it. Missing you. Because they weren't connected anymore. They knew they weren't connected anymore and they were missing your energy and they wanted to siphon off of that again. They realized how rich and pure and light your energy is. Look, touch me there. And that's coming out with the Daughter of Knives. And look how all the hands, you know, the Daughter of Knives is like the Page of Swords. So that's like that um, monitoring spirit type of energy. Um, it was like a spirit war or a spirit or energies or entities was sent someone's way to try to see if they could get a grasp or a hold on. But none of these hands are actually touching that person here. None of these hands are actually touching that person. And with that coming out here with the elements, the threes and be of service, I feel like somebody um, definitely is some sort of um, light worker here. And they used their work, their talents, their gifts, what... Um, they were given by the divine to um, heal themselves. They have the magic touch. I feel like somebody does here. I feel like this was um, someone who was trying to combine, who was trying to bind themselves um, to a uh, a divine masculine, divine feminine, twin flame soulmate situation here by putting one sexually transmitted demon uh, or sending uh, you know, demons, energies, entities to one being and having it be sexually transmitted to the other being. But little did they know, these people already cleared that out before it came. Like that, that those energies weren't even able to make it beyond or toward the threshold, I guess I should say. It was like once it was put into the ethers, once it was put into the air, it immediately dissipated and went toward the greater use of karma because someone had already cleared out um, this this type of energy. It can't be used against them again. They already cleared it, banished it, um, you know, and then they can't use the same thing twice. It's almost like um, double jeopardy in, in the spiritual realm, you know. I'm 
trip trip again intuition messages trust your intuition so somebody definitely um stuck to their astral waters all right and we have witcher warlock like i was saying if nobody told y'all today i'm gonna tell you i love you peace Thank you.